Hello and welcome to Happy Handicrafts. Today we're going to be working on the fourth project from the book Paper Sloyd for Primary Grades by Edna Ann Rich. We're going to be creating a six inch by six inch pinwheel. The materials that we're going to need for this project are a piece of paper, the size isn't going to matter, a stick, a ruler, a pencil, a pin, and a one inch piece of sticker, as well as a eraser, which we've added later um, as a hack. So for the first step is to create your six inch by six inch piece of paper. Our paper is eight and a half by 11, so we're gonna cut it down to six inches. First, we measure six inches down from the right and make a small mark, and then six inches down from the top left We'll make a small mark. Now we're gonna join those two marks with our ruler, holding it steady to make sure we stay very accurate. Next, we're gonna measure in from the left six inches at the top. So place your ruler at the top, find your six inch mark, and draw a small mark. Let's do the same thing at the bottom of the page. We find our six inch mark, draw a small dot, and then we're gonna join those two dots with the ruler, holding the ruler steady in the middle. This is gonna give you a six inch by six inch square at the top left of the page. Go ahead and cut it out. And there's our six inch by six inch square piece. Working on the back of it, we're gonna draw some guidelines. From the bottom left to the top right, place your ruler and draw a line. Then place your ruler from the top left to the bottom right and draw another line. This will give a big X across your six inch by six inch piece of paper. We are next gonna fit our one inch square sticker over the center of our paper. Each corner needs to touch the diagonals, this can be a bit of a challenge. Next, you're gonna cut along the slanted lines right up to the corner of the sticker.
Next, the book tells us to stick a pin through the corners and center into a stick. This is a little easier said than done. So what we found was a little easier was to put a eraser under the sticker and then to bend all the corners into the sticker and then to stick the needle through the corners and center right into the eraser. Careful not to stick yourself. How about a blooper reel? This is what not to do. We tried to remove the eraser and then sticking the needle into the stick. It did not work. First of all, our needle was not strong enough to push into the stick. And Clark almost stuck himself. And then, to our dismay, the entire thing came apart. So instead, use our little eraser hack, leave the eraser connected to the pin, and simply push the pin through the eraser into the stick. And there you are. There is our paper sloyd pinwheel. Now go outside and see if it works. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Thank you.